We're here at a 72 foot pacemaker 1977 named Flight. Parked in the backyard of the house here. Boat is located in Fort Lauderdale. Priced very reasonably and in fairly good condition for a 1977 boat. Offers plenty of space with master stateroom and guest quarters and facilities for crew forward. Paint looks all right. Everything looks all right. Nothing's miserable. Looks like the wood down here has been painted at one time. Uh, me personally, I'd probably strip that down and get it back to wood. Handrails have also been painted. Uh, besides that, she's all right. She's a little dirty. You can see right here. Glass seems to be in good shape. Um, for a 77, this is a lot, a lot of boat for the money. It's a pretty good deal. Uh, has hard top with Isinglass enclosure. Let's step on board. We go in the port side of the pilot house, which offers good visibility. Old but okay electronics. We have a Garmin 2010C, Baruno sounder. We have a, a Faruno radar. All the instrumentations. The boat has the 3196 caterpillars, for about 14 and 1500 hours. And the port side door, aft of the pilot house. I have a little bar in here with refrigerator, microwave, wet sink, a little stove top over there. Countertops look like they'd be in nice shape. Very large size salon, which has one sofa and a table back there. Uh, it could be arranged in any manner. I have a fairly large television back here. There's a little aft deck, which is okay. Nice access out. Hard top enclosure. There's a light back here. Access on and off the boat on both port and starboard. Bathing platform, swim platform, teak. Going back inside. Salon. Bench seat, er, bar seats at the countertop there. You have the wing doors on both port and starboard, giving you to the walk around. Forward of the pilot house. We go down four or five steps here to the lower salon. People use this as the dining room. Here they have a chair and a love seat. Countertops. I don't know what this is doing there, but good size galley, full size of refrigerator, stove top. Dual stainless sink. Plenty of storage space. I have a microwave back here in the corner. Air conditioning in here. Forward of the galley, we have crew quarters. The lights aren't turned on in here, so it might get dark, but we have an upper bunk. They turned the lower bunk into storage, and then their own head up here. If you had a teenager, this would be ideal for the teenager. Going aft of the galley and down again from the lower salon, about four steps. We have the hallway to the guest quarters and the master head. We have the head here, uh, master head, master stateroom. We have the guest head here with a shower. On the starboard side, we have guest accommodations with two side-by-side -side twins. And further aft, we have a very, very large master stateroom. There's a washer and dryer in here. Makes it convenient. A queen berth. A head in here.
These doors are a little dirty. I need some cleaning up, but not a ton. And another closet over here. Air conditioning. Uh, carpet is used. Uh, it's not miserable. It's not brand new. There's a couple spots that's stained right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. You have your engine room access down below. I'm not going to videotape that because it's dark down in there. You won't be able to see it. We'll go up to the flybridge here. We have ample seating. Nice enclosed space on all four sides. No electronics up top, so to speak of. We do have the caterpillar controls and some gauges. And then aft the open area. And storage, access to the hard top. A lot of boat for the money. The ice and glass is a little bit dirty. I don't know if it'll clean or not, but it's all intact. The zippers look to be in good shape. Don't like I said. I don't know if the ice and glass would clean or not. Probably would. Good space forward. Overall, it's a nice boat. A lot of boat for the money. This seat's pretty dirty too. This probably will clean with some magic eraser. Anyway. 72 pacemaker 1977 for sale located in Fort Lauderdale, Florida.